Hi, Open IDO. My name is Abbas Impindi. I'm the CEO of the Media Challenge Initiative. Welcome to the Media Challenge Initiative, the home of the Media Challenge Academy. First and foremost, we want to thank you so much for this challenge of expanding economic opportunities to East African youth. The Media Challenge Initiative is a result of positive anger after we struggled to break into the media industry. Out of that desire and anger, we created the initiative to make sure that other young people like us don't face the same challenges. We are now pitching the idea of our media academy because we believe this is a game changer in empowering the next generation of journalists, storytellers, and leaders. We also believe that the training, mentorship, and connections we create can expand economic opportunities for the youth in Uganda and East Africa, especially if our idea is considered for funding. So, before we go into the details, we want to give you a quick tour of the facility. So, come with me. So, in here, we have a radio studio. And basically what we do here is try and radio presentation and production. So basically what happens here is training and people get hands-on in terms of learning presentation and production. So our next stop is going to be our TV newsroom. These are guys here learning how to present and we have a training manager over there. Then let's go to the TV studio and then you also get to see what happens there. Thank you. What happens here is our TV training room or studio. Over there is the director. Um, the camera person and then the lady also, the camera person and those beautiful ladies over there are the beautiful anchors. So we have hands-on training and people learn how to present and also TV production. This is our editing suit and um, yes, after that I'm going to take you to the training room where everything that happens here happens before coming to the studio or the radio studio. So come with me and we see the training room. There's a training session going on, but come with me. Let me first show you a wall of fame to see how many people have come here to see the project and have signed up. Uh, but it's also our way of connecting them to the different people in the industry. So now we're going to go to the training room and see what's happening there. So come with me. Hi, um, this is the training room and there's a session going on, so what we're going to do is give this to Lillian to tell us what's going on and then we'll also say hi to all these amazing people. So Lillian. Hello, you're welcome. Uh, this is my class. We have an ongoing session right now and uh, well the students come to the training room before they go to the studio uh, for the practical skills. And uh, we, we have the, the dreams on the wall, if you could see what is on the wall. And we ask the students to visualize their dreams. The dream is to become uh, a business anchor in five years time. And that means to achieve my dream, I am going to make sure that I learn how to read news, how to report news, how to actually basically the intonation and also in my dream in five years time I would love to have a family, children, another job besides journalism, maybe doing PR for another company and also build a house. And also uh, in the five years I hope to achieve uh, maybe becoming the BBC News anchor I will be able to write scripts for my news stories and also do documentation, editing get some editing skills and also do learn how to voice because some news uh, you have to voice over the reports from the uh, reporters that are brought from the field. So this is my dream to become a very good news anchor at MCA TV.
Now that you have seen the academy, we have a radio station and a TV station. However, we are not on air, and this is why we are coming to you. We believe that with your support, we will start a student's TV and radio station with focus on preparing students for their first experience in the labor market. This will be the first ever student-run and student-driven radio and TV station. We believe with that in place, we'll be able to train, offer internship, offer mentorship, and also employment opportunities to young people who want to work in the media industry. We'll also become a breeding ground and for talent development and a recruitment organization for other media houses in the country. So I believe that that's a proper and good addition to our project. Now that I've pitched to you our idea of a TV and radio station run by students, driven by students, let me also introduce you to our mother organization, which is the Media Challenge Initiative. Continue watching. Now, we want to tell you about the Media Challenge Initiative. This is a youth-driven nonprofit building the next generation of journalists in Africa through mentorship, training, and experiential peer-to-peer -peer learning. Yes, we believe that good journalism can make the world a better place. And we also believe that the next generation of journalists is very essential in designing a better world through the stories they tell and how they tell them. And based on this background, we believe that it's no longer enough for journalists to just report on the challenges of our times. And we believe that if we want to forge solutions to the greatest problems that our communities face, journalists must facilitate solutions and create a dialogue that ignites change. And this is why our mission is to build the next generation of journalists by giving them knowledge and solutions-based journalism. We do this through training, mentorship and experiential peer-to-peer -peer learning by creating practical spaces to simulate a real working environment. Some of our projects include the Media Challenge Academy, the Media Challenge Awards, the Interinstitutional Media Challenge, and the Media Mentorship Program. We are looking for collaborators that are passionate about youth development and empowerment through media creativity because we believe in a human-centered design as a critical process of challenging people to design and create a better world. Now, if you want to know some of the institutions that we work with, or partners, I must tell you we work with the Ministry of Information and National Guidance here in Uganda on our project, the Inter-Institutional Media Challenge. We also work with NTV Uganda, also our partner on the same project, but also on the Media Challenge Awards. This year, we are partnering with the UN Women in promoting the He for She campaign in universities. Now, our projects, like Simon did tell you, include the Inter-Institutional Media Challenge, which is an annual media contest for journalism students in news anchoring and reporting, essay writing, and photography. And I'm happy also to tell you that over 50 students have been scouted direct out of this contest. Last year we launched the Media Challenge Awards aimed at mentoring the next generation of journalists. Now, we run a media academy where we offer practical skills to students of universities bridging the math gap so that they are ready for the employment world. So we believe we are so much in line with the principles and values of this challenge that you have designed. And we hope that with this information, we can honestly be considered for this funding. Thank you so much.